Hey everybody, it's Paige, and this is my two-month update for my skincare project pan for 2023. I will have my series playlist linked down below in the description box in case you guys want to catch up on the previous videos, but I'm going to show you guys my progress for the second month of using these products. The purpose of this series is to try to use the products that I have, work my way through the products, just have less open items and just less items as a whole. I have been in a decluttering process, a using up process. So um, I've just been focusing on these 10 products and I, my goal is to basically get my use out of them and not be as wasteful. And yeah, that's basically the gist of things. Um, this is sort of like a rolling project pan. So if I use a product up, I will replace it with a new product. I think so far we've used up two products. Not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it was two from my last video. One was kind of a flop because I dropped it and it broke and it was, that was different. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and show you guys the progress that I've made on these products over the last month. I'm going to pull up my video so that I can figure out the order that I talked about these products so that we can stay consistent. I will have these products linked down below in the description box in case you're interested in checking any of them out. So first up we have the La Mer Cleansing Gel. Um, we made some good progress on this one this month. Look at how close we are to finishing this. So I've been marking the products on the back of the packaging. So this was the starting point. This was after one month and then you can see kind of where I'm at after the second month. I need to go get my Sharpie so that I can update the packaging and my camera battery is about to die. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back and I marked the cleanser. So I would say we probably used about the same amount as we did last time. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully by next month's update, I can have this completely used up. That would be fantastic. That's the goal. Um, I enjoy this cleanser, but I would never buy this again. It's way too expensive for what it is. Um, so yeah, I, I'm enjoying my time using it and I am sure I'll miss it when it's gone, but not enough to ever spend $100 on a face cleanser ever again. Next we have the La Mer Oil Absorbing Toner. Um, this one I actually used a lot. So this is like one that you have to shake up. Um, I have a lot more progress this time than I did last time. So let me go ahead and mark this with my Sharpie. So here you can see the start mark, the one month update, and then the two months update. Definitely have a lot more progress on this one. Again, I am enjoying my time using this, but I would never spend $100 on a toner ever again. <laughs> Next we have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is actually something that I used quite a bit. So um, you're just gonna have to like compare it to like the previous month's video, but here's what it's looking like. You can see how much flat space we have up here where there is no product. So we are definitely making our way through this one. Definitely getting some good visual progress, which I am very, very happy with. I love Summer Fridays. They're one of my favorite brands. I want like one of everything that they sell. So this is definitely something that I'm enjoying using and um, I am excited to use this up so that I know that I didn't waste any of it. And in the future, that is definitely something I would consider repurchasing once I go through a few more of my face masks. Next, we have the Fresh Cleansing Oil. This is the Seaberry Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Um, let me go ahead and mark this with my Sharpie really quick so I can show you guys the update. Honestly, a little of this stuff goes a long way. I used more this month than I did last month. So hopefully you guys will be able to see. There we go. The starting line, the one month update, and then the second month update is about right here. So. Uh, made some good progress. I'm kind of in between two makeup removing products, this and a cleansing balm. Um, this one I use more so in the shower, the cleansing balm I've been using like when I'm at my sink taking my makeup off, but um, both of them, well, the cleansing balm is pretty close to being done. And then this one I focused more on this month and definitely got some use out of it. So I'm happy with that. I really enjoy this product. I think it's great. I feel like I prefer a cleansing balm. I don't know, honestly. I like cleansing balms and cleansing oils. I, I, it's, I feel like cleansing balms are a little bit less messy, like the packaging on this kind of leaks, 
But other than that, I think it's a great product and um, I have nothing negative to say about it. I feel like it might be kind of pricey, but I mean, if it, if it works, it works. Next, we have a little bit of a flop product. This is from Glow Recipe. This is the Strawberry Smooth BHA AHA Sal Silk Serum. I don't think I've used this a single time. I only have one mark on here. And I don't know if that's because I didn't use it last time either. Um, but there is the mark there. The product is still there. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, yikes. Well, <laughs> We definitely need to focus on this one. I could use some salicylic acid. My skin is very broken out at the moment, so I need to be using that. Um, so unfortunately, that one kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit this month, but that's okay. We will try to make it a priority this month. Next is another serum that completely slipped through the cracks. I don't think I used this a single time. I do have marks on this one. You can see the first one was at the top of the white label. The second one is slightly below, but the product is still at that second mark. So we're just going to leave the mark there. Um, I guess I just did not do a good job with my serums this month. I feel like I was kind of lazy with my skincare, mostly doing like cleansing and moisturizing, but yeah, definitely need to focus on those for sure. Next we have a product that I finished. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. This was almost done. I think I used this like one or two times and it is completely empty now. So we have another empty even though it's a small one. It's still a success. So this one is completely used up. I think this is our third product that we've used up it's at least our second one that i personally used up third one if i include the one that i dropped and broke um i again i feel like i'm forgetting something else but i don't i don't know so anyway this is finished which is awesome and i'm actually going to replace that product with another little mini mask this is from i do care this is the berry groovy brightening glycolic wash off mask and this I have never used before. Here is what the product looks like. It's completely full, but it is just a little mini one. So I feel like a couple uses and this will be pretty easy to use up, but I want to make it a point to do so because little things like this can slip through the cracks without, uh, I, I, can, I don't have another word or phrase that I can replace that with, even though I used it like three times in the last four sentences. Um, so anyway, this is going to be replacing the Origins mask, so we're adding that to the project pan. Next we have the Ofra Volcanic Clarifying Mask. I don't think I had used this last time, um, like this particular one in my one month update. I don't think I had used it, but I have now used it. I think I've used it two or three times, so here is what the update looks like definitely still a lot of product in here but i love this mask i think it's fantastic if you're looking for a charcoal mask this is a really really good one something for like you know impurities and just clarifying your skin i love this one next we have the charlotte tilbury moisturizer this is the magic cream um, I'll show you guys what this one looks like. These ones are harder for me to show you guys updates because it's not like a clear bottle. Um, this one I definitely, uh, I haven't been great with moisturizer, but I did use it quite a bit. So i um, still making progress on this one, but there's still quite a bit of product left in here. I definitely want to work through that because that's an expensive product. <laughs> And I've been really enjoying it. It's super hydrating. Um, I didn't, I thought it was gonna be too heavy for me because I have more oily skin, but I haven't found it to be too much for my skin in the day or the night, which actually surprised me. And then finally, we have the Ofra Biotech Eye and Lip Cream. This one I do have some pretty good progress on. You can see the starting mark right here, this little black sharpie mark and i measured it from where did i measure it from <laughs> shoot <laughs> i need to rewatch the video and see because i need to make sure i measure it from the same point okay so i marked it at the bottom of the plastic piece so that's exactly what i'm gonna do here so the bottom of the pump which is about right there so now you can see the progress from the first the starting point because this was only been in for one month so this was my starting point and this is my one month update on this product this was new last month and this was new last month everything else was 
already here so um, this product has been around for one month and everything else has now been around for two months excluding the new one that we're just adding today so that is my skincare project pan update I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up I am enjoying seeing my progress on these products it's really like satisfying and it's a good way to hold yourself accountable if you guys are interested in doing a project pan I know I'm saying this at the end of the video, but I did have some people ask me what a project pan was, but basically it's where you just try to use up a product completely or hit pan on the product, usually referring to, I feel like, makeup. Um, I feel like that's kind of where it originated, but there's like a metal pan in, say, the bottom of the eyeshadow, so when you hit pan, that's like considered a success. So these were really popular with like... A long time ago like 10 years ago I feel like that's when I first saw like project 10 pan videos where they would try to hit pan on 10 specific makeup products but now they've kind of evolved and kind of changed and you can make it like make up the rules however fit you best so my kind of rules for this challenge are just trying to use up the products completely and focusing on these products so that I can continue to cycle through and not use like 10 different cleanser cleansers one time. I'd rather use the same cleanser 10 times and work my way through that product and then move on to the next one and really test out products that way. So that's going to be it. Again, everything will be linked down below in case you're interested in checking any of these products out. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!